running a synthetic rope is the way to go. If it breaks, it doesn't disperse energy the same way. So it just, you know, it frays and it comes apart, but it's not like a piece of steel flying through the air. Just understand when you're doing vehicle recovery and you have a steel cable, I'm not saying they don't work, but you need to be acutely aware of the dangers of using them when they break. And so typically what we would teach our guys is when we were doing that, is you're never standing anywhere in and around where the cable could go, right? If it snaps, it could go either way, depending on where, where something breaks. Um, and then even to the side, you were even cognizant of the guys inside of the vehicle. I think the moral to the story is be smart about how you do it. So I'll pull this out. Um, this is rated at 10,000 pounds. This is just like a little rope. You know, you can pack it. It'll, it saves you on the ounces in your bag or whatever, how you want to do it. They just come apart, feed it through, and you're there. So what I'll do here, to demonstrate, I'll stick it through here. But you get your, your shackle on it, and then we'll pull out my tree hugger. And anytime you're picking a plant or a tree or something living, we want to respect it and take care of it. And you will literally just wrap it around the tree. I'm hugging the tree. This is called a snatch block, and this will double your force. So it'll effectively get me to 20,000 pounds. You just slide it open. I don't know if everybody can see it. Like little wings. And it's just a pulley system. Close it. And then you can use that synthetic shackle you have and just feed it through everything. The cool thing too is, I don't know if you've ever managed or handled um, steel line. Man, it'll cut your fingers up. When it gets old, it'll rust, stuff like that. Part of your recovery kit should be a pair of gloves. So I'll come in here just to start to get tension. I got my gloves on. Give it a little bit. And there it goes. And that's it, until you need it to where you need it. Break. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> if you don't have a winch and you need to tug someone out of a hole or whatever, the other situation here is another synthetic line. Yeah, so don't forget dynamic stretches and then static doesn't. If you're using a steel shackle, and again, that thing separates. It's just like my steel cable story. That thing becomes a flying projectile and it could potentially injure you or somebody else that's standing around. So it makes a lot of sense. I like all the synthetic stuff. It makes a lot of sense to me. And again, if it fails, it doesn't hurt anybody. If you have your own equipment, if you have a winch on your vehicle right now, I want you to actually go and attach uh, your connectors, uh, you know, for your manual controller, whatever you're doing, and go use it. Part of this was the familiarization of your own equipment, right? So go and put your hands on it so that way you know, all right? When you see these, um, it's probably the sketchiest way you can lift these vehicles, but in an emergency situation, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like Kurt said, at some point, you're gonna have to take a risk. Um, what's sketchy about them is it's just one point on the ground, one point on your vehicle, and that's it. Do not ever let go of the handle if you're lowering or raising. The base is just gonna give you more surface area wherever you're at. I have steel rock sliders from Offroad Evolution that are actually welded to the frame. So that's the point that I like to use. Get a solid base, pull it up with your hands, get it where you need to, hold it, and then you start to crank down. You see immediately it starts to lift the, the vehicle up. So there's the tension. Watch out. And there we go, that's as high as I'm gonna go. It's got a really small lever here. Down. And you'll feel the tension as you come back on it. And you wanna go all the way forward and all the way down. And that last one drops you out, so it will slam. Get your wheel off or get out of your situations, get it out of there, you know, means to an end. Couple considerations. Uh, you know, if somebody's got to get underneath the vehicle, this is dangerous, jack obviously. Jack stands, jack rocks. yeah. So you want to have a redundant system before somebody goes to do that, okay? Yeah. Hey guys, while we're on that topic, uh, I would also recommend always carrying ratchet straps with you. We were up in Star Valley, Utah, and there was a guy with a really nice Tacoma up there, really good dude. Uh, he blew a shock out on the trail and the only thing he had was a ratchet strap to keep everything together. And he actually took that ratchet strap. He couldn't go fast, all right, but he got off the trail and he got off the mountain because he ratchet strapped everything together. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, I don't even know how you did this, but 
you know, good on you for being, you know, having some ingenuity on the trail. All right, guys, so that's it for uh, vehicle recovery. Again, if you have any questions about kits or any of the techniques that we talked about, make sure you get with us uh, here in a minute um, or later this evening once we set up camp. 